Hello, YouTube and Hello. Conlang. Uh, this is my partner, Alex, and we are making a gripping language together, um, which means it's a Conlang, an art lang slash angelang, mediated entirely by grip, and you'll see what that is in a moment. Yes. Uh, we are about to do for you a couple of example sentences. These were posted on the Conlang list two, three weeks ago by Herman Miller. They're about a mouse and a snake. Uh, we'll link to the thread so you can see what we've translated. I uh, will also post an interlinear to the list, or we have. Right. Uh, video tense is confusing. <laughs> um, I'm going to be voicing each line simultaneously with Alex um, saying it in grip. Alex is going to be in the DOM position uh, for ease of visibility. We are actually uh, both um, left dominant. No, that's no, not right. right. We're different we're, dominants because we're we different. Don't match. Sorry, we're yeah, we're different dominants. So that means any position is sort of unnatural for one of us, but uh, eh, part of life. For the sake of, of YouTube, <laughs> we can make sacrifices and having a good relationship. So, uh, shall we start? Let's. Uh, okay. Let's see. So. One sec. Do -do -do. In frame there. There you go. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do first is just a inventory of mm -hmm. uh, Alex's motions, so you right. can understand what they are. So uh, the thumb presses we denote by vowels. These are e, e, a, o, u. Uh, the finger do presses. Do it a bit slower. Yes, right. E, e, a, o, u. Yeah. And the finger presses. Here is two, three, four, and five not knuckled, and here are two, three, four, and five knuckled. And chords. Uh, they can also come in any combination of chords. Da da da. There's all of the knuckles. There's all of the gaps. Uh, and sometimes chords can come with thumbs, also. So I think they'll see plenty of examples of that. So we may as well just start. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, all right. So a snake sees a mouse. Uh, too much torsion there. <laughs> the snake wants to eat the mouse. Go slower. The snake strikes at the mouse, but the mouse dodges. The mouse gets away. The snake goes to look for another mouse. End of story. So the translations that I was giving are really not quite accurate of what the actual uh, grammar is. Right. So uh, I strongly suggest that if you care, you look at the interlinear because that will give you a much better idea of what's going on. Also, you can uh, also follow along with the, the phonemic notation for the presses, of course. Right, um, and See of course you can wrong. you can try it yourself. Um, all the, Although we strongly recommend doing this with a partner because it feels quite different, um, you can't just you know put your hands together and try to do it to yourself. Um, mm -hmm. It feels it feels a lot different if you do. Yes. Um, another thing we should note is that a lot of this is in flux. Yes, this, this lexicon is really you know hot out of the oven. It's, it's <laughs> we we finished up the last words just before filming this, and uh, don't be surprised if they're different next week. Yeah. So. so. Um, Sorry if you're trying to make some sort of historical analysis of gripping language. Actually, if, if you're doing a historical analysis, that might be useful. But if you're trying to translate it sometime in the future, um, and you're trying to base uh, your grammar, vocabulary, understanding of gripping language on this video, and it's past 2009, you should probably read whatever we've made since now, because this probably isn't valid. Uh, anything else to say? I think that's it. Okay. All right. So, um, 
Bye. If you Bye. have any comments, let us know.